learn about force. Force. What is force? It's a push and pull of objects. That's right. That means we're moving one one object from one place to another with force. That's right. That's correct. Good job. See, you guys were playing football, isn't it? So does the ball move by itself? No. Does the ball run and roll into the goal by itself? No. no. So how do you make it move? We kick it. Yeah. We so use force. that's right. We use force. The kicking action creates force on the ball to move. Guys, yes. do you know what? You can apply more force or little force depending upon what the situation needs. Okay. See now, if you have to push, kick the ball into the goal. Janvi, if you uh, try to apply little force, see the ball gets into the goal? Yes. Okay, it doesn't go, isn't it? Trish, now if you apply more force to the ball, does it get into the goal? I think it did. Yes, it did. See, this ball required more force to get into the goal, isn't it? So Janvi, what will happen if we apply super extra force to the ball? Okay, let's see. Yeah, look, right? It moves. So, what we what did we learn now? Everything needs specific amount of force for it to move correctly. Yeah? yeah. See, now there are two chairs behind you, right? One is smaller and one is bigger. One is made out of plastic, one is made out of metal. So, Trish, do you want to move the small chair first? And tell me how much of force you are applying. Okay. Are you able to move it easily? Yeah, huh? I added a little bit of force. Okay, so now try to move the bigger chair. With the same force. So if you have to move the chair more and nicely, how much of force are you using? I need to add more force. That's right. You're using more force, isn't it? Yeah. See, lighter materials like plastic require less force and metal is heavier, is it? Yeah. It's more denser. So it requires more force to be moved, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, look around over here and tell me which are the things that you can do using force. I know. Which one? My bike. That's right. Is the bike moving by itself? No. Then how does it move? When I ride on it. Yes. And what are you doing by riding on it? Putting force. Yes, that's right. You're putting force on its pedals to move. Isn't it? And here, are you putting little force or more force? More force. That's right. You're putting more force for the bike to move you around on it. Isn't it? Yeah. And Trish, you have one more thing to show where you can put pressure on or force on. Yeah. That's right. Our scooters. Yes, that's correct. Your scooters. So does your scooter move all by itself? No. No. Then how can it move? I have to put force on it. That's right. How do you put force on your scooter? By pushing it. Yes. I'm pushing my scooter. That's right. Ow. Look, you use force in your day-to-day -day activities so much, isn't it? Yeah. But you don't realize that you're using force on them. But yeah. now you do realize that you're yeah. using force on them, isn't it? Look, I'm bouncing. I'm using force to bounce up. That's yeah. right. See, you're using force to bounce up and down. Look, this is another example of force. Good job. What are you guys doing? We're blowing bubbles and keeping force for them to blow and make and we can make them. That's right. See, if you just hold your bubble wand. Yeah. Does the bubble come out? No way. Yeah, so what are you what do you need to do? Look, you have we, to blow. You have no. to add force to it. That's right. You're applying force by blowing through the wand and you're able to get the bubbles out. Look, it is windy and the wind is applying the second force on the bubbles to move. Yeah. Isn't it? Look. Yeah. 
So the bubbles are having two kind of forces, one from you to become a bubble and then for it to move away, the force is coming from the wind. There are two forces. Yes. Two forces applied on bubbles make them go all around. That's yeah. right. We're in our room now and every day we do different kind of forces with our toys. That's right. So what are the different kind of forces uh, you have learned now? We have learned contact force. Contact force. That's right. So what is a contact force? Contact force is where you contact a, a type of a, one thing where you're fixing one thing to another. That's like right. I'm fixing my Lego. Where the force is seen because your contact, it comes in contact with another thing. Isn't it? Lego. Like your Lego. When you're trying to fix your Lego, one part of the Lego gets fixed because it's got the force from you and you're trying to push it. Then the other. Yes. Then it keeps going higher and higher. Earlier in the garden, when you were doing your, when you're playing football, your yeah. foot comes in contact with the ball and that force is making the ball move. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And how about over here? What are the toys you have? A spinner. Yeah, see? Look. A spinner moves because it's got the Look. force. That's Look. right. Yeah. And my gun here. Yep. That's right. What and else do you have? We have here my game. Yeah. I use force to move the ball and not get and to get through the holes. That's right. And also like my get my water game. Your water game. That's right. See, you're, you're using force on it, isn't it? See, yeah. you're using force for the balls to move up and down and get into it. Oh, oh, like I just won now. Yeah. And how about your maze? Show me your maze. Yeah, see, you're using force to get by bending it up and down for the ball to move. Isn't it? Also this. Yeah, your basketball. See? You're putting force for the ball to move out. Yeah, even the fidget spinners. Yes. Fidget spinners. See, the fidget spinner doesn't spin by itself, isn't it? Yeah, we, we are, are using spinning. force. And this kind of spirit here. I already showed it. Yes, that's right. So what is the second force that you learned? Second type of force? Gravity force. Gravity force. Yes. Gravity. See, when you are dropping a ball down. Yeah. See, it's the gravitational force that comes into place here. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember you learned about gravity earlier? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in one of the experiments. That's right. And what's the third force? Magnetic force. Yes, the magnetic force. Yeah. Well, you don't need to touch. Well, the little things, you 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 have magnetic. And yes, you can the take magnets. them out without touching. That's look, look. So, if I just put the scissor on it, it just gets magnetic. Yes. And if I shake it, it tries That's to get That's a magnet. It. So, you magnetic. hold the magnet now and try to pick the scissors? Yes. This is called the magnetic force. Fine. Isn't it? Look Do you like learning it. about force? Yeah. On a straight floor, when you keep a little bit of force, force. on the car, yeah. it only moves a little bit. That's but right. But when you keep it on a slanting part on the car track, it The moves. same force make it move long way, isn't it? Yeah. So the, fo it, uh, the force increases its speed on slanting surfaces. While on, uh, on, while on straight surface, the force still remains the same. How much ever force you apply, the force is just the same. But on a slanting surface, the force increases because it is slanting. Oh. Yeah, that's correct. So what are you guys playing with? Play-Doh. So what did you learn about Play-Doh? We have learned that not just force can move things around, it can even change the shape. That's right. You want to show it clearly? Yeah. Yeah. See, we, when you use force, it changes. Things can also change shape. Can make a big boy feet. Yeah. So when you apply force to your play doh what happens? It becomes a shape. Yeah, it changes shape, isn't it? See, force is not just necessary to force just not moves things. Okay. It 
changes the shapes when applied to things like play dough. Yeah, see? Yeah. Just try applying a force and see how its shape changes. See? Yeah. yeah. It's becoming flat. Yeah, you can make it flat, you can make it square, you can make it rectangle. You can make holes in it. Yeah, you can make it into any shape. Yeah. Yes, that's I right. I am using the force to pull it up. Yes, that's right. Look, you're pulling up. You're using force to pull it up. It looks like I'm getting water from this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's we enjoy learning about forces. If you like our videos, videos please like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye.